Good evening, everyone. Tonight we're going to be talking about Mothman, and we're going to be mixing in some ASMR sounds as well. Uh, we've got, for instance, my voice, which is going to have to work as an ASMR sound. Uh, we've got my rings. We've got this paper right here. We've got this feather. But not least, I've got this candle. I've got this candle right here. This candle makes some. Candle makes some decent noises. However, this candle is not any ordinary candle. This candle is a woodwick candle. So this candle is not meant to sound like a campfire. And I will put this campfire adjacent. And I have that to the point where it is not too loud to where you cannot hear me. So, But it also is something you can almost constantly hear. Uh, imagine we're talking over a campfire, so come sit on by this campfire and sing this campfire song. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E S-O-N-G song. If you think that I can't sing it faster, then you're wrong. Boom, boom, boom. slower pace because um, this is meant to help uh, relax and fall asleep and I think as part of that um, uh, time is, is a good asset to have um, so we're going to be going at a bit of a slower and calm pace so if you're just here to quick learn real fast this is not the video this is if you're just here to relax learn things as you fall asleep hi you clicked on the right video um, now the first sighting of Mothman uh, happened in Point Pleasant in West Virginia in 1966. It was November 14th. Um, now it was a group of four, four people and they were out driving on West Virginia uh, Route 62. They had actually just left um, uh, um, going around an abandoned set of buildings that had recently belonged to, uh, not recently, but had, not, re not even recently, it was 20-ish years um, uh, since they had done anything. They were previously used for the Manhattan Project, um, which if you're not familiar with the Manhattan Project, it is the project in which the United States um, learn, uh, developed and tested and whatnot a uh, nuclear bomb. Um, uh, used in World War Two, so in the it, it's uh, according to locals, that's what the people were there for. They would drive you in. Uh, they, you would not go in yourself. They would drive you in as you worked there, and as soon as the bombs were dropped, that nobody had ever like went there again, like to work. So, um, the. I want to say early young adults were walking around uh, in there, just going around, trying to like, wandering about. Uh, it's been abandoned for like 20-ish years. Why not? Um, so uh, they noticed that there was one building. I can't remember how, I think, how many it was, but one of the uh, two buildings they went into uh, all had birds in it. All the buildings had birds in it, all but one. One of them was perfectly quiet. No chirping, nothing. Um, and as 
because they, after they left, they got on 62, and as they were driving, they had to swerve around a seven foot tall black humanoid creature. And they swerved around it so successfully, they didn't, they didn't hit the thing. So they, and they took off driving afterwards to, you know, terrified of what they had just saw. Eight, ten foot tall creatures, especially humanoid, is nothing to, um, just dismiss. So, they take off, they continue driving, and they're speeding up and trying to lose the thing. However, it keeps up with them barely flapping its wings, it's maintaining speeds of, uh, uh, according to them uh, over uh, up to a hundred miles an hour and it got in front of their vehicle uh, and it caused them to swerve and that's when they got a better look uh, so that's what it caused, it caused them to slow down and that's when they got a better look at it it was like like they, they agreed it was a large ten foot tall creature, black creature, with big, fi like, 15 foot wingspan, sorry, 10 foot tall, 10 foot long wingspan, and most importantly, most, most importantly, had glowing red eyes. Now, imagine you are in this position, hanging out with some of your buddies. You can just let's just let's just let's just take uh, this theory by 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 its neck. And say they're they're um they're, it's a double date it's a double date and you're out there and you're just you're with you're with one of your buddies and you're e each with you're with someone that's important to you and he's with someone that's important to him and you all form like a nice little bond and you're just walking around just, just this place you have this eerie building you're walking into why is it all quiet you feel like you shouldn't be there but that that doesn't mean anything. Everybody else feels it. Everybody else feels it. Wow. That's odd. Let's just leave. So they, so they all leave. They all head out. And then this this, cre this creature, this thing, the paranormal, that under logic and understanding should not be real and should not be being perceived. But it is now you, the human the human eye can often be wrong and the human psyche can often remember things wrong um, but still even if, even if for some reason my vision were impaired and I still ended up seeing something that I deemed to have glowing red eyes and ten foot long wings I'd, I'd lose my marbles now personally I don't think I would say anything if I were alone and I saw that I, because I personally, like, well, I have only had a few um, instances with anything that could be deemed uh, paranormal. Um, more, um, may maybe I'll share more in time, uh, but I'm not opposed to speaking of them. You know what I mean? I'm not. I, I don't. I don't hold on to them as if I'm afraid to be deemed crazy. 
I don't know, man. If I were just, if I were to be come forward and be like, yeah, hey, police, I saw some Mothman. Yeah. I don't think that would go too well. Um. So that's probably why I probably, I probably wouldn't do it. And it's interesting that the four of them also said that if they were alone, if they, if the three others, or the three others of them hadn't already, hadn't seen it as well. They wouldn't have reported it. So the cr the creature got them to swerve off, and after the, like, getting the full look at this at this thing, try as it was trying to get them to appear what appeared like um, go up to it, they swerved off the path and ended up on a farm where they thought they had avoided Mothman. They parked. They waited. And hoped, but the wait, the wait and the hope only lasted about a minute, maybe two. And there he was, in front of the car again, sitting there, eyes glowing, standing there, menacingly. Um... Creature was trying the creature at being Mothman, then tried to lure them again. Obviously, them the, the the four of them not being in a horror movie and being in real life, uh, thought semi logically, um, and thought let's get out of here. And they didn't really have a way out, so they had to just reverse. So they reversed and got off, got back onto the road. And luckily, were able to drive back all the way home. And they then reported it because of that. Uh, then there was a subsequent report because word, a slight word got out about this event. And there was a, a second reporting by a small group. I think it was a group of two. Um, they were grave diggers. I don't know why the heck they admitted they were grave diggers in the report. But they did so, and probably got themselves um, incarcerated. That's pretty darn funny, in the, if you think about it. Um, so, they said that they had seen a moth, bird, like creature flying through the trees in the night and making uh, noises that were also that were similar. That sounded like train tracks and people yelling mixed together um, the newspapers following headline after here after the newspaper heard about the um, the, the, the group of fours um, account the story was and I quote uh, couples couples see a man-sized bird creature something and that obviously inspired um, people to catch wind of it people in other towns as well because a person in another town actually uh, was the one who gave the nickname of Mothman um, now there's reports that people uh, get in the reports that disagree and but that conflict about Mothman's appearance but that's bound to happen with anything um, because people are trying to catch a spotlight and will lie about it, whether it's real or not. Um, and in some instances, some say that Mothman has feathers, some people say that he doesn't. Um, some say it's bird-like, others say it's similar, others, but most agree it doesn't really have moth-like qualities. Um... But Mothman sounds cool. And if you think about a giant Mothman, it's, it's pretty cool. In, in like theory. Um, so. So, uh, after the newspaper's headline, um, of course, more headlines, more people came forward. Uh, a bunch of them saying that they had, um, thought about saying it before but they decided not to based on like 
They didn't want to seem crazy. I get it. There's a lot of people that did this though. Um, it's also also true that it attracted a bunch of out of town people to try and do this. I've uh, discover Mothman as well, and obviously, if they went through all that effort, they might try to glamorize their events, their whatever transpired for them to make it seem more worthwhile. Um, however, the uh, frequent sightings, uh, as well as the mass hysteria in that regard, uh, came to a frequent came to a, no came from frequent came to a sudden stop on a de uh, was it December fifteenth, nineteen sixty seven, when the Silver Bridge collapsed in West Virginia. Now, Mothman had been seen in the area prior. Now, one of the most famous pictures, if you look up Mothman, you will see a picture of a bridge, I, I believe. Um, and it's a picture of, like, it was like a, some sort of, like, blob, like, on this bridge. And it's everyone, not everyone, but, you know, it's, it's Mothman. Um, and the bridge collapsed, I think, days after that. There were multiple sightings of, uh, by the bridge of Mothman prior to. Many people died. Many people were were injured in that um, bridge collapse. Now, I personally um, don't think that, well, from from the perspective. Let me, let, me, let me watch my wording here. Um, from the from the perspective of someone who is looking at the other at the 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 less and so how do I word this? Um, hmm. The explanation for the him no longer being seen after that and not, it's not like him leaving it could be the fact that like the mass hysteria of like people of the of that town and nearby coming to that town because of like oh wow mouth man like that's the that's the thing that's going on here that's the craze that's the mass hysteria I, I know I keep using that like but like I genuinely like it's possible um, and they flock to it because they want it and if, pe if people want something, the brain said to, will make it happen for them, even if it's not true sometimes. Um, so I think that when the bridge collapsed, that was a true, like, devastation, a tragedy. It was something that, honestly, most people had to pay attention to, no matter what, like, you, you, it would affected your daily life, especially if you were in that area. Because it's someone you know. And that gets you to like kind of stop in your tracks. Especially when everybody's going through that. Suddenly the thing that's not on the tip top of your mind is like the new craze of like a little. Not a little. I don't want to say a little. But of like a, a new like uh, hoax by some people's view. A new um, A new thing in the newspaper, you know. A new a new Loch Ness monster. Uh so I where was I at? I, I kinda rambled for a second. I my rambling made sense. I know that. Um however this is not the only appearance of uh, Mothman's bridge antics. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I remember where I was. Um, back to where I was, in fact, of uh, the dev the people's people's thoughts were immediately on like just getting through that, and their thoughts were on that, no longer on the Mothman. And I know I said that, but I wanted to cleanly cut that cut that cake um, so now for the next slice of cake um, 
the other bridge that Mothman had been seen at and reported at literally days and maybe I think up to a month prior. It was the I-35W Mississippi River Bridge in located in Minnesota. Now, it was on August 1st, 2007. And that's about 50, count it, 50, 49 in like a few months. That's, that's, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. Um, he's also been seen, I keep calling him he, he's probably a them, but, um, I'm going to keep going for he. Uh, he has also been seen. Um, I can't remember where exactly the location but it is. But it was uh, after the tsunami hit Japan. There was the um, uh, nuclear fact. Nuclear fact. What, nuclear reactor place. I, don't, I can't have the exact definition of the words. But the, nu- the place that, de- that dealt with nuclear activity. Um suffered that reaction that went bad Uh, they had apparently seen Mothman just days prior apparently group 4 did apparently Um, and there's also a a legend that was existed prior of uh, in other places but it existed with a different name but it had a similar description but not quite dead on and even more recently um, I think 2015, and, pop, and I think up to, I don't know if there was any this year. I'm pretty sure there was a few in 2021 and f- between 21 and 21 and 2015. Um, in Chicago, Illinois, the United States of America. So he's back. He's back again. Tell a friend. Um, he's uh, apparently chilling in Chicago. Don't know what's gonna happen in Chicago. I hope it's not that big bridge. Um, no, hope no tragedy hits Chicago. Um, I th- can't remember the exact numbers. I don't. I didn't jot them down. But there's, like I said, been, been reported and uh, also worth noting is most people who have uh, made a claim stating um, that they have seen Mothman. And um, you know, his glowing red eyes. Um, they uh, develop mental disorders, and I don't mean like uh, light ones, like uh, just casual ones. I mean the ones that like are debilitating, and are um, kind of dread based. Um, but it's not all of them, and. Based on based on Mothman's affinity for showing up places before devastation, before atrocity, not atrocity, but before tragedy, um, he's gotten this rap of being a harbor harbinger 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 of uh, tragedy and devastation, a negative sign. A sign of ill will and a sign of negativity. And even dread. Because apparently he brings dread with him. People in the area apparently feel dread prior to the event and as well as afterwards. Um, But that could just be like uh, people's like survivor's remorse. Um... question is, is Mothman a harbinger of tragedy and devastation, or is he simply a beacon in a dark suit, as in a warning, a caution light? A um, what's 
a good way to put that. A blinking red light or glowing red eyes in this case. Um, so I think it's possible that instead of it being a harbinger of uh, devastation and, and, and terrible events, he the events are already are going to happen. And it's po very possible that he is there to foretell it and forewarn. That's like, hey, get out of here. Things about to get rough. You don't want to be here. It's possible it's neither. It's possible it doesn't exist. But it sure is fun to, to pretend it does, and sure is fun to speculate that it does. What does it hurt? You know, there's been no reported like Mothman deaths, no reported Mothman killings, abductions. It's fun to speculate. Uh, cryptozoology as a whole is pretty, as pretty like fun to speculate. Um, now. If you are satisfied with your knowledge on uh, on on the Mothman, I recommend you cl you click off now because there's a moth in my room right now. Came at me, you see that? <laughs> okay. Well, this got interesting. Alright. Um, so. Those of you who are satisfied with your knowledge of Mothman, click away now, because I'm going to uh, either tell you what it could, what he could be in real life, and I'm also going to ramble for a bit. Um, so what he could be in real life is either a potentially mutated crane a mutated uh, was it sandhill crane which have a red like thing right here in their eyes and if one's big which they are known to be in the area uh, it's possible that um, one had mutated and gotten large, or even gotten black. It's very possible that he gotten black. Um, that would explain the size and the red eyes, partially the red eyes, not the glowing aspect. The glowing aspect makes sense when you consider the barred owl and other owls that are similar, but the barred owl especially, is, as well as the I think, arctic owl, or snowy owl, that's what it is, because they have really long, really large wingspans, and also the glowing red eyes, because barred owls are a bit smaller, but have the glowingest eyes, um, uh, their eyes, like, so you need the smallest bit of light for them to actually just fully refract red back at you um, and look like they're glowing because uh, normally other owls you need a bit of light toward them for them to reflect back red towards you uh, some of them just naturally red themselves now I have no idea where that, mo where that moth went is it going to come from my dreams <laughs> I think that's all I have for the Mothman. Big fan of the Mothman. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep the light low, but um, if you can see my shirt. This is a Mothman. This is done by Beezer Way, B S E R W A Y. I think it's B Surway. 
Brian or Brandon or something like that. Surway. Um, he's an artist. He makes uh, some gnarly stuff that that's like really pretty. Um, some really clean gnarly stuff. It's interesting. Um, good friend of his work. I wanted to give him a little shout out. I figured uh, y'all should check him out. If you, you know, if you, like, if you like art. Um. Um, I'm gonna finish with some light talking now. Uh, if you notice, I did change the background. This is a tapestry I have. Um, I'm also gonna change some other things up. If you have noticed, I moved the microphone. Can you believe it? Um, I hope that's working better. Uh, I know a lot of that was talked a lot longer than it needed to be, but hope you're safe, sweet dreams. Um, this is a new series I want to do. I figured I figured the best way to start it. Well, this the series is gonna be is me like talking about anything that I find interesting. So it's going to be a lot of random stuff. Uh, and I figured the best time to start that would be the month of October, which is probably my favorite month. Um, and I figured what a fun way to start it, and then to, uh, with the cryptid, and with Mothman, because I have a Mothman shirt, and I like, I like Mothman, he's, 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 like, he's neat, like, the concept of the, of him as a whole is really neat, um, super weird that a moth showed up in my room while I did this, um, I hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, expect more spooky themed things during the month, during these, during the, well, during this month of October. Um, I appreciate you watching. Given this is 30 minutes into the video, I appreciate you still being here. But at the same time, I hope you're asleep. But if you're if you're still awake. Um, I, I let me know how the candle does. Uh, I'm gonna move it a little bit closer at the end here, so you can get a better like idea. And I'm also gonna treat you all with a little bit of, a little bit of, a little bit of mushroom, a little bit of mushroom. Me is floating around my head for hours on end. <laughs> um, uh, oh, thanks for 12k. I love y'all. Genuinely, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Um, What else do I have to say? I don't really have much else to say. <laughs> well, I don't have much to say. That's shocking. Uh, expect more fun stuff. Expect more characters. If you have ideas for characters, feel free to drop them. If you have, like, um, yeah. Just, if, you, if you have ideas, just go ahead and share. It's not a post. Um, thank you for watching. Sweet dreams. Happy October. Um, I wish there was like a there was like a Mothman like thing that like they, like they say, but like I don't think there is. So, um, got any lights?
That's stupid. Good night.